Okay, now we're going to try and add a bad guy. So, like before, right click, new object, sprite, I'll just click here. Um, I'm a little tired of doing all these boxes. So instead, first we'll, I'll make a box first. And then let's draw a little face on him. Roar. Roar. Give him some teeth. Okay. Uh, we'll resize him a bit. We'll bring him down to 50 by 50. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. We'll go to behaviors. Add something in. Um, we'll go to platform. Oh, actually we'll do, yeah, we'll do platform. So that way he gets the same gravity that our guy gets and he hits the boxes the same way our guy hits the boxes. Um, but where's his default controls, we're going to say, well, I'll show you what happens if we don't do anything. We control both of them, which is not exactly what we want right now, although you could make a pretty cool game like this. <laughs> but uh, we'll go back. If I said default controls to no, that means the keyboard won't control them anymore. There we go. Now we'll go back. We'll go to our code page. Um, so sometimes there's things we want to happen not necessarily tied to a particular item, but when something in the whole world is true. Um, so there's this option every tick, and that basically means almost like every millisecond. What do you want to happen in the code? Uh, every millisecond, what do we want to run? So, we're going to go Sprite. This is the bad guy, I haven't named him yet, so his name is still Sprite. We go down to his platform properties. Uh, simulate control. And we want to simulate, it's as if someone's pushing left. Done. So now when we run it, there we go, and off he runs. Um, and then let's go back to layout. We'll give him a name. Bad guy. There we go. Very original. Now, um, let's run the same sort of code we had before, where if the bad guy is outside the layout, I'm not seeing it here, I'm going to type outside. There we go, it comes up for us. If he's outside the layout, then we want to set the bad guy's position. Um, let's see. Oh. So that sets him 900 pixels sideways and 100 pixels down from the top. So now let's run that and see what that looks like. Oh, and there we go. So every time he goes off the edge, he comes in at 900 pixels. But if you notice right now, when the bad guy hits us, nothing bad happens. So we'll go back to Construct. Um, we'll add a new event. We'll say bad guy. Um, let's see. on collision with another object. That's exactly what we want. And what object is it colliding with? The player. So whenever it collides with the player, that's the condition, that's the event. And when that event happens, what do we want? Well, we could do two things. We could make the bad guy disappear, or we could make our good guy disappear. So let's send our good guy back to the beginning whenever he dies. So copy that, and we'll paste it here. Um, because if they're outside the layout, we want to send them back to the beginning, or if they get collided with the bad guy, we're sending them back to the beginning. So now if we run this, oh, it sends me back, and it sends me back, and it sends me back. And if I avoid them, there we go, 